Kitty, you're in my spot. <clears throat> I know, you're gonna have to move. Or get squished. <laughs> Howdy neighbors, David here. And today on Boondock Stallions, we're gonna be doing final predictions for the last three episodes of WandaVision. Now, before we get started, go ahead and give this video a like or a dislike. I'm not really that fussed either way. I'm just happy you guys are watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's get this bad boy started. So, WandaVision. Now, I know y'all have heard me harp on the whole Mephisto, Agatha Harkness uh, nightmare thing for the last couple of weeks. If you haven't, I'll leave you some cards up here and some at the end of the video. Um, but today, I'd like to work on... A little bit more elaborating on what my theory last week with Nightmare and the Twins was going to be about. So, for this, I had to pull into the Doctor Who universe because, I mean, if ever you're going to go into a multiverse or deal with weird timelines, that is the show to go to. Then, I went and took another look at the parent trap with Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay Lohan playing two different characters. Then, I had to take a look at... Uh, the Crisis on Infinite Earths from DC's TV series on the CW. So, what I was thinking was the reason that we have Pietro, or I'm sorry, Peter from the X Men movies in this instead of uh, Quicksilver from Age of Ultron is because Wanda is breaking through the multiverse. Wanda needed help, Wanda was missing everybody she needed her brother, and she reached out into the multiverse and found a version of her brother. Now, the reason this seems significant to me is because we don't really know what happened with uh, Peter Quicksilver from the X-Men Universe's version of Wanda. Now, in X-Men Days of Future Past, we do meet his sister, but they don't actually tell you her name or if she has any powers. She's just his little sister, which means that it was open that he could have had a twin sister at some point that died, and uh, he is now solo by himself, no longer the twins. Super sorry about that death. But if anybody here is a fan of Doctor Who, uh, during the Series 2 finale, uh, the Doctor and Rose ended up going to a parallel universe, and Rose's father in her universe had passed away when she was a baby and in the parallel universe the father survived and then the mother died and what happened was they both crossed universes and had a nice happy little ending where her dad from a parallel universe met her mom from a parallel from this universe they were still in love they made it work and it was a happily ever after a perfect love story but i thought to myself using that same familial logic and the love for the people in the different verses that could still apply here, because if Peter's sister died or was murdered early on, and he found out that a version of his sister was living in another universe where her brother had died and she was living without him and she was in grief and needed help, he, feeling that uh, obligation to his sibling, because I have siblings, I would t totally go to a parallel universe for any of my other sisters, regardless of the fact that I don't think they'd actually make it in for me. Bitches. Off topic, sorry. Uh, so, having said that, um, I feel that Doctor Strange or anybody else who could travel through the multiverse, and I'm using Doctor Strange because his next movie is literally into the multiverse of madness, he could have known what was going on with Wanda, reached out for help, pulled in Peter from another universe, brought him here to help, and it seems like Peter wants to help. He genuinely wants to find out what's going on with his sister and not step on her toes and piss her off. And he's not looking to be against her, but he's definitely investigating her somehow uh, on the show. Um, they even asked each other about their accents, memories when they were growing up. Now, this is where the DC Infinite Earths thing comes into play because on the Crisis on Infinite Earths, they ended up deleting a whole bunch of timelines and condensing them down into a prime timeline because, I mean, when the shows came out, Supergirl was owned by, I think, ABC and uh, Flash and Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow were on uh, the CW and they just weren't set on the same Earths and then they, can, they bought them all out condense them and put them into the same universe. Even Doom Patrol and uh, Teen Titans from HBO Max made it over to uh, uh, the Infinite Earths thing. But when they consolidated all of the Earths, 
uh, what versions of them disappeared, all of their memories had to be transferred into the ones that survived over time. And so my thoughts on the reason that why Wanda remembers things differently from the way Peter remembers things is because they had two completely different childhoods and they're having two completely different memories because they're in multiverses and different timelines. If you remember the movie The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan, it was about two twins switching places and yeah, that is exactly what happened with Peter and Pietro. They were two twins, or I'm sorry, <laughs> twins, but the same twin from parallel universes switching places. Why not? What if that's also what's going on here? What if his Wanda went bad and is in this universe controlling the other Wanda and the two of them are just uh, having a case of mistaken identity and there are two Wandas rolling around in the one universe? Um, also, Agnes. This is the last time I'm going to say this. But I'm willing to bet my beautiful, beautiful long hair that Agnes is Agatha Harkness, and we're going to find out within the next two episodes, hopefully. Anywho, let me know what you think down in the comments. Be excellent to each other, and party on dudes.